Hey, this is Lance from the Casey Tiny Urban Farm. And today we are going to debone a rabbit. We're gonna debone, we got two rabbits that we're gonna debone. Follow along, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so you can be notified when we upload additional videos. And also um, like the video. We start out um, cutting the uh, the meat from around the rib cage. So you basically want to make sure that you get the uh, um, you know you get a sharp knife and you just start cutting around the rib cage area to get the the meat from the rib cage. Um, and so you can see I'm doing it on one side, and you know you just you know do small little cuts. And you're so what you once you get you know then I go to the other side and do these uh, small little cuts and make sure you get those floating ribs as well um, you know so and then what you want to do is you want to then go and cut the cut it the spine you know the meat away from the spine so that you're gonna basically just you know you got to just cut around it just cut around it because um, what will happen is this spine will actually come off and then you come down the 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 spine there as you get closer to the hind legs and the hip area and so you just you know just small little cuts is all it takes um, with a sharp knife and then you're, you you can see as the uh, spine is starting to come off of the, the the rabbit meat here and then once you you know you keep cutting it down and then you're gonna eventually you're gonna get down to the the hips and the legs um, so the spine will come off all by itself as you'll see here shortly um, okay see the so the spine is off with the rib cage you save that for your stock now we're gonna work on the the, the legs so you just take the legs and you got a hip down here and you just want to work work that meat from around um, the the leg bones with your knife um, and basically it's just, you know, I go on both sides of the bone um, and slice, you know, through it as best I can to, to, get, to get as much of that meat off of that leg bone as possible. Um, and then I'm just holding it up, just kind of get that, you know, that meat off of there. If I leave some of the meat on there, that's okay um, because I'm going to use this for stock. Now we, we're, we're butchering two rabbits this day. We're, we're, we're I'm not butchering, but we are deboning two rabbits, and we weighed them to see how much they weighed, and it was a uh, 4.41 pounds before we deboned them. So it was 4.41 pounds before we deboned them, and these rabbits we raised these on our tiny urban farm, and um, these are a Californian uh, meat rabbits, and you know when they get to be about five pounds average for the litter that's when we actually butcher the rabbits now there's I have a video here on my channel of where I actually do show you how to, to butcher a rabbit and so we got both back back legs off here it looks like and then we we now it looks like I'm working on the the front leg um, here these two this video part of the video here is I'm working on the front legs and it's basically the same concept. You want to cut around the meat or from around the bone as best you can. Um, and that's a clean rabbit. A rabbit. That's a deboned uh, rabbit. De rabbit. Okay, we're weighing the uh, rabbit meat after it's been deboned. It comes to 2.57 pounds. 2.57 pounds. Now let's weigh the bones. Here now we're gonna use these bones to make some uh, some stock. We're gonna make some uh, some bone bone broth stock with those. So the bones come to uh, 1.77 pounds. So this is what we're gonna be grinding up in our uh, meat grinder. First we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so it can get cold, not frozen but get very, very, very cold and stiff. Um, so it'll be easier to go through the, the meat grinder. So it'll be easier to go through the meat grinder. Make sure you follow me, hit the bell notification so you can be notified when you hit additional videos.